Good day and welcome. My name is Bhuvan Unhelkar and it is my pleasure to present this seminar in the Green IT Awareness Week. The topic of my presentation is Environmental Intelligence which is based around extending business intelligence for sustainability. This is my profile. As I mentioned, my name is Bhuvan Unhelkar. I have been a consultant, a trainer and also a adjunct academic at University of Western Sydney as also at UTS. I have two specific books in the area of green IT or green ICT and uh, I also am a fellow of the Australian Computer Society, life member of the Computer Society of India and uh, some of my extracurricular activities include um, work in Rotary and a few other places. I would like to acknowledge the publishers of my books, contributors to my edited books and the journal that I have been working on and also my PhD students. as they have been quite helpful in undertaking the research, collating data and joining me in publications. I must also acknowledge Connection Research and Graham Philipson as I have exchanged quite a few ideas with him. I plan to introduce my view, my version of green IT. What are the drivers of green IT and the various dimensions that affect green IT in business? And then I take you through environmental intelligence, which is basically extending BI for the purpose of sustainability. I will mention, although relatively quickly, some green IT metrics and also the very popular ISO 14001 Environmental Management System Standard. So, let me introduce the motivation for green IT. We know that IT consumes a significant amount of business resources and those resources are not just the power guzzling data centers but also IT resources across the organization for a typical bank or airline or hospital one would expect to come across thousands of desktop machines laptop machines the new mobile phones which do a lot more than a phone call printers and servers and so on. So the need to consider green IT is expanding way beyond IT, way beyond just the IT resources used by IT and goes across the organization.
here are a couple of definitions of green IT I won't go through the definitions I won't read them out but overall they seem to indicate that efficiency and effectiveness is at the core of what would we would consider as green IT so we are setting the foundation in our quest for carbon reduction with a business angle in mind here is a definition that uh, Graham Philipson my friend had used in his work at connection research it's a conscious implementation of various technologies and techniques to reduce the carbon footprint of the IT function across the entire organization so when we talk about green IT we are not only talking about switching off laptops and and desktop machines we are talking about a strategic approach a business strategy to reduce carbon emissions adjunct professor Robin Ackerman who wrote the foreword to my edited handbook of research in green IT has also approached um, uh, green IT from a futuristic perspective and he too is suggesting that carbon emissions from green IT from IT are not limited to IT but are going across the organization so if we do agree to the basis for green IT as something that is beyond IT this particular slide highlights what I mean by going beyond IT there are four layers as shown here in envisioning a green enterprise which is beyond green IT first IT as a producer and that's where when we reduce the uh, usage of monitors or laptops emissions come down then we have IT as enabler so systems and supply chains and content management are all used to uh, reduce the overall carbon emission we then talk about the green enterprise which is not only putting in effort to reduce IT's primary emissions not only using IT software and systems such as the CHEMS carbon emission management software but is also looking at the infrastructure the people the policies the law the standards and so on to reduce the footprint of the organization and as time goes by we are moving more and more into collaborative business and that's where green collaborations which are industrial strength processes that cut across many organizations will come into play and that is the overall scenario for the future of IT uh, for the future of green IT so let's have a look now at what are the drivers of green IT and 
what are the various dimensions under which an organization can undertake green IT? We had uh, undertaken a survey to determine the reasons, the underlying reasons why organizations would adopt green IT policies, carbon reduction policies. And one of the key question that was asked as a part of this uh, survey was whether organizations would undertake green IT policies to increase their revenue, to increase their profitability and almost 40 percent or in fact even more agreed and quite a few, almost 30 percent strongly agreed to the fact that green IT, green policies could be undertaken as an integral business strategy and that's where we are pitching our thought processes here which is if business intelligence has been used to increase the profitability of an organization then we need to extend and apply that business intelligence in the environmental domain to increase the efficiency and reduce the emissions of the organization. So here are six green IT drivers for an organization. Costs come on top but then there are other very interesting drivers such as uh, exploring new markets. The moment an organization moves into environment and sustainability it opens up doors for new products, new services, new processes. Social and political pressure as a new breed of customers, the younger generations in particular come in the market. They demand that the products or the services that they are consuming are IT, um, are, are green conscious, are developed or provided with awareness of the carbon factor. So that's um, a important driver. Legislation, especially in Australia, is a crucial factor in driving an organization towards green IT. Very few organizations take an initiative on their own as enlightened self-interest. And then when one large organization changes to reduce carbon emissions and puts in processes and products in place to do so, all other relatively smaller organizations though that have to collaborate with this organization have to also move and are forced to move towards environmental consciousness and sustainability. So those are the drivers for green IT. I will let you study the data here as it has been put together. Some of this research was undertaken by one of my PhD students in 2010 and it is highlighting uh, the cost factor or the efficiency factor as one of the highest in the minds of uh, CIOs and CEOs when they undertake green IT initiatives. Now should an organization decide 
to put green IT strategies in place then it is not just one big chunk the organization has to look at different dimensions at different ways in which it can start transforming itself and these are the four areas or dimensions along which an organization needs to put in effort need to implement environmental intelligence or environmentally responsible business strategies technical dimension which is primarily involved in reducing IT's emissions economic dimension which is focused on measurement metrics cost-benefit analysis return on investment people dimension that deals with attitude change training education and reward and then there is the process dimension which can include concepts of re-engineering and you know, business process modeling and and business process optimization so those are the four dimensions that an organization needs to worry about as it decides to transform to a green organization and this is the work uh, that has been undertaken in connection research but has also uh, appeared in uh, a chapter written by Graham Philipson in my handbook of research in green IT and it provides a nice framework with five horizontal dimensions and four vertical columns that encompass uh, green IT across an organization now how does one go about developing green IT strategies what are the issues that one can face this particular slide is showing immediate medium term which is one to three years and in this stone age long term which is three to five years strategies for green IT and their impact so the immediate approach would be to switch off monitors to replace the hardware with greener hardware to virtualize to recycle the paper to do all the things that are in quotes low-hanging fruits then in medium term approach we look at green business process management modeling carbon emission management systems ISO 14001 reduction of e-waste through improved processes and so on and then the long term is to look at collaborative business to look at renewable energy sources um, keep the angle of carbon trading in mind and uh, look at other innovations like biomimicry and so on these are again um, graphs drawn as a part of uh, uh, PhD level research in terms of environmental factors that influence an organization's business strategies and the key message that is coming out again and again is that um, the key factors are efficiency based carbon reduction whenever there is cost involved businesses are keen to see if there is a corresponding return in their effort to reduce carbon emissions this slide organizations strategic plans to reduce 
or to meet green targets over the next three to five years is also highlighting the need to focus on uh, business strategies rather than only green IT strategies independent of business. For example, if I have to only put in effort to switch off monitors, that's uh, only looking at green IT on its own. But if I have to correlate the cost of replacing the monitors with green monitors whose cost of running will be much less than the cost of running the current monitors I am extending and applying green IT to business strategies and that's how the strategic uh, plans are to be formulated again a lot of data here but the key thing is the way in which the policies for optimization optimizing energy consumption in all business processes is being highlighted as the most important factor so in this particular case there are policies to influence attitude of staff policies to use renewable energy policies for optimizing energy consumption across all business processes as the highest um, 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 factor or highest uh, policy with highest importance policies for adopt adopting and implementing recycling of equipment and so on and again the same um, idea that business strategies are the key rather than independent environmental strategies so we are really talking about environmentally responsible business strategies so let us look at how we have used business intelligence in the past what we mean by business intelligence and how it can be applied for environmental practices very simply intelligence is making inferences based on knowledge but knowledge is correlating silos of information and information is processing and analyzing of data and data itself is simply storing so business intelligence is really the process of inferring from the knowledge that systems are providing and taking decisions based on that knowledge so if you look at data information knowledge and intelligence from a environmental intelligence perspective we find that the carbon emissions data warehouse the strategies for running data centers in an efficient way all that is actually in and around uh, the data aspect we then look at how we would modify the way the current CRMs and supply chains and other ERP applications are working then that is where we are focusing on the information aspect if we start making use of collaborative technologies cloud-based technologies service oriented architecture carbon emission management software and also start integrating mobile devices and systems and start making use of the breadth of knowledge that is in and around the organization then we are talking about the third tier or the third layer which is knowledge based layer and then we start inferring we start 
um, working on the people machine continuum we start making use of experiences we start changing attitudes we bring about all the concepts of business intelligence into environmental performance of the organization and that's where environmental intelligence would play a part having talked about EI one of the bases for that environmental intelligence is the initial capture and analysis of data now business intelligence has always been starting with data and moving towards information knowledge and then its inference when it comes to environmental intelligence we have to start with capturing of environmental data and this particular slide is showing how at this point in time the ENGERS uh, Nas Australia's National Greenhouse Emission Reporting System ENGERS um, is categorizing carbon data into scope 1, scope 2 and scope 3 and scope 1 very simply is the primary production of carbon by an organization scope 2 is when an organization is using secondary sources and almost all electricity power bills uh, and their corresponding carbon data would fall into scope 2 and then when an organization outsources or gives away its um, um, processes to be conducted by a third party that comes into scope 3 so here is uh, a bit more information this is only uh, for your information slide and you can go and have a look at the calculator that uh, the um, uh, National Greenhouse Accounts uh, Workbook uh, is providing NGA and uh, play around with it I'm now giving a couple of examples of how I would start measuring carbon emissions start collecting initial data uh, before I start moving towards uh, analysis and uh, knowledge and intelligence so here I am looking at the end user or the customer and his or her uh, carbon emissions so the technology that they are using which is basically the power that they are consuming and uh, their um, systems that are used to serve it in user like CRM systems or HR systems for employees are the ones that we are measuring here I have placed attitude as a factor in end user or customers environmental uh, contribution but it is very difficult to measure at this point in time yet it is a factor that needs to be measured in times to come if I look at the supply chain or process life cycle then I would be measuring the carbon that I am uh, spending or consuming or producing through supply chain through management of inventory and also in uh, managing waste or disposal so that's what is being highlighted over here the moment I talk about process and process efficiency and optimization I start bringing in concepts of lean and lean being such a popular process oriented concept has every opportunity to be applied to green so here is my view on how lean can be applied and is applied to green when I 
start bringing in data in order to move towards intelligence that is when I start collecting green metrics or carbon metrics as we would occasionally like to say I have roughly divided them into two aspects the the static and the dynamic or one can say the carbon that is produced in the creation of infrastructure in the designing of products and and so on which are in a way one of emissions and then the dynamic or operational uh, emissions so for example the carbon that is produced in designing developing and prototyping a motor vehicle would be relatively static whereas the carbon that is produced by each individual motor vehicle is a ongoing uh, production of carbon and that's the dynamic aspect so this again is in a way based on the way business intelligence works so we are categorizing metrics into major parts and then going deeper into each of them not only focusing on the dynamic or operational aspects of emissions so if we have to go from data to intelligence as we have done in case of business we apply a similar sort of approach when we collect carbon data and we try and move it towards carbon or environmental intelligence so the processing of data the correlation of information silos the inferences that uh, environmental intelligence is going to make are what are uh, shown in this slide going left to right it is important to keep this particular standard in mind ISO 14001 it's a very popular standard for environmental management systems so if we do put together a environmental intelligence strategy in the organization ISO 14001 provides an excellent framework uh, to put that uh, strategy together so we can derive policies we can undertake planning we can work out approach to implementation checking and cross-checking and corrective action and overall management and review of an environmental management system using this particular standard so what I have done is highlighted first of all to you what I mean by green IT or green ICT I have tried to stress the fact that green IT is not just IT related but beyond IT I showed to you the four layers of IT as producer IT as enabler uh, overall green enterprise and then collaborative green I then showed you the six drivers for green IT and all these drivers seem to indicate that a business will move to green IT only when it can be aligned with business strategies so we are really talking about environmental risk environmentally responsible business strategies I then highlighted four dimensions along which a business can change people process technology and economy money I then highlighted some um, data statistical data that is currently being analyzed and uh, and used in a PhD level research on environmental intelligence I then took you through 
data and information and knowledge and intelligence as the BI layers which we would now be applying to EI or making use in EI environmental intelligence and I also highlighted to you the importance of ISO 14001 I hope this little sharing of uh, my views on green IT and, and green business have been of value to you. Um, none of these uh, topics can be said to have been discussed sufficiently in this um, electronic seminar but I would be very happy to provide uh, more details and, and more uh, explanations on my line of thinking and also uh, my book Green IT Strategies and Applications contains uh, most of uh, uh, my uh, work in great detail. So once again thank you very much to you all for listening and to the organizers of uh, the Green IT Awareness Week and uh, many best wishes to you all. This is Bhuvan Unelkar signing off. Thank you. Bye bye.